my experience here in Lady Selva on maternity. 1959 in January, this was my very first mission station after my novitiate. And I came here for training midwifery. This was a very big, huge house, 7,000 babies born per year. There were nurses uh, training for midwifery, and there were many students, medical students from the University of Pretoria, and uh, a professor came regularly to have a check-up. This a house, it, we had uh, 20 uh, babies in two nurseries downstairs, and upstairs also one big nursery with 20 babies and a premature nursery with incubators. Now these little ones, they kept the sisters occupied day and night to keep them alive. Then the lectures, they got first class lectures and 100% pass in this house. And when we had the students from uh, uh, the university, they questioned often our faith. So we had quite a good apostolate to witness our faith. Even Jews we had here in, in the house. And they changed their mind very much uh, later on. We had also to do district uh, uh, deliveries and the location was very big. I'm not sure how many hundred thousand people were living here. And I could not even walk these five, five district cases. One was up at the mountain, the other one down at the at street. So there was a bicycle here in the house and I went by bicycle. And so many children were there. I had still the old dress and the forehead covered, and the children. Hello, sister, hello, sister. I had to get up and greet all these children. For me, it was a very good experience here in Lady Selborne. Uh, sister Monica Berg was that time the matron. Sister Judita was the tutor, and uh, we had one old sister. She was busy the whole day uh, to get all the newborn babies registered. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there were mothers, they said, I don't want this baby, you can keep that baby uh, for uh, adoption. We had Sister Union here, she was a social worker, and she always found good parents for these babies. And we enjoyed having them a few months with us. They got all the love. Now, one day it was in uh, 1979, Mother Provincial came, Sister Lutgard. We had a meeting. She said, we decided to open an old age home and to close the maternity home. Oh, we were shocked. That is impossible. How the old age it? home, it was very quickly happened. changed the whole house, the rooms, and uh, about the end of 1984, the first residents came here. One of them was uh, Bishop Boyle from Johannesburg. Now this old age home, there is a great blessing going out. We are all well cared for. We have uh, carers, nursing carers. Uh, we were trained at the beginning here, and uh, they really have the Holy Cross spirit. 
Yes, that is what I can say now from our old age home. Uh, the, the great blessing, we have a downstairs residence, we have upstairs our sisters, and uh, we have also priests here. Every day, Holy Mass, we are very privileged. Even during the time of the pandemic, we had every day Holy Mass, what we appreciated. Uh, well, the provincial called me from when to the 1984, the end of 1984, to come and help with building up the old age when it is where we started. And we have a few sisters plus the nurses. Alicia was one of them, Diorata, and uh, Angela, and myself. The rest were the staff. This is how the home started. And the, the first floor actually it was empty, more or less. More or less it was empty, the people who were here were down. And when it started, it was only for whites. Because it was during a party, but we knew what we have in mind, that we will go for it. So in 1994, then it started taking everybody, nationality, religion, and all that. So I disappeared some, I would disappear from 1986, I disappeared somewhere. But then I was recalled back here again in 1978, March. So I was up again in the nursing field where we were nursing people around. And at the moment, then 2000, it is then, we started our outreach in Plastic View. Now I went there and we were doing it on a weekly basis once, bringing food for them because we were called people, we were hungry. We went to the shop here, what is left, they gave it to us and we were in there. This is where we started. And then really to be involved in this uh, project up there, I was sent there as a nurse. But when I came there, I didn't even take a panel because my aim, our aim was to educate people, to get up when they are sick, go to the, to the, to the, to the hospital or clinic. And by doing that, to encourage them, we used to transport them, just that they may see them. And at the same time then, that is now after 1997, 1997, 1998, then in 2000, and then from there we developed a kind of really a making our own shack there, where we attended to the people and going out five times a week. We are, I was going out there. It was a terrible experience, a real humble beginning because it was poor, people had nothing. And then but we, through the help of what everything came and really formed itself, I was there till I saw tribute that, till the people got their RVP and social movement. I was still visiting them. And then this way my health gave in, I resigned, but still I was involved because now we opened the clinic here for ARV. And I was called again because I have done that uh, course on obesity and the counseling. So, eight, seven, they are around. When we, the uh, South African Bishop Conference helped us with the money they got from America. So, I could get the people out there, bring them here, where now hospice, st hospice started. Already, it was on the go, but when it started, we didn't have medication. But we accepted the people just to give them a proper nursing care and that they died dignified. But then, people coming in, getting ARV, and then it is how we went on till I gained my strength, gave up. So I gave up, I decided. So I'm still at Lady Sell until now. I know. <laughs> I'm old lady, I am tired. <laughs>